The code review session's over. Now it's time for more coding. However, I've really taken my current work as Dev2 as far as I can. So it's time for me to take on additional work. How do I do that? Well, this relies on having what we call a well-organized backlog. That's just a list of things that need to be done that are defined and or prioritized. And so what'll happen is an individual dev, you'll go to this location in your work tracking system and you'll just look and see what's next according to the priorities that have been set by the management or the product owner. And the first item has something to do with end-to-end -end automation. And Dev2 says, this really looks like a QE task, so I'm gonna skip over that to the next priority. In this case, it's uh, something to do with using a default image when no image exists. So it's really important when defining work to use what are called acceptance criteria. And that is, in addition to having a description of what it is you're doing, you wanna be able to know when it's done. How do I know when I've done this? And so before committing to any type of work, you wanna make sure you understand exactly what needs to be done. And if there's questions, bring it up later, wait for stand-up, reach out to someone, but it's very important to get the work in a state where you're comfortable with it before you commit to then taking it on and executing it. In the case that I'm comfortable with the work, what I'm gonna do using a test-driven development process is if I'm having to write new functionality, I like to actually write the skeleton code, meaning I'll write like functions or methods and classes or, and whatnot to represent at a very high level just so my code connects from one end to the other with inside my system. Uh, so that I can then start writing my test for it. And so what I'll do is I'll make an assumption, for example, hey, uh, in the current get image function, if the image is null, I, I want to return this default image from this URL. And so I'll actually write that out as a test case. I'll say, given that I have a product and that product has a no image, you know, when I try to pull that product, then because there is no image, I return this default image. And that's the basis for which I will go as a developer and kind of set the framework around what it is I'm building so that I have the end goal in mind of what's happening beyond all the coding details.